Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamonds tripped young and intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I'll get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man What's going on this trip, young? We in Brooklyn, you know whenever we in Brooklyn We gotta come support the family Justin Biggs, BK Torch He just won about 35 rounds with about 16 different fighters But you know what, when you're a Golden Girls champ You can do things like that And now, you know, you, you made it to the, to, the, to the pro level So you're rocking and rolling Just last time when you came on the show It was it was, it was was after the, 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 the Golden Gloves lost But you came back, you won the Golden Gloves And then you turned pro So just tell me about the, the resilience um, well, basically, man, it was really my mom. Like, she told me to go back into the tournament. I really didn't want to, you know. But um, to be a, to be a great fighter, like from New York, you have to win the Golden Glove. So deep down inside, I knew that's what I had to do. My father always was saying, you know, when you win the Golden Gloves, everything's going to change. As well as my trainer, Yoel Judah, he told me a lot. Like, you know, you win these gloves, your professional career will be way better. After winning it, you know, I got signed to Real Deal Promotions, uh, which, which is owned by Evander Holyfield. Uh, they picked me up immediately after it, and uh, things, nothing has been the same since. That's right. Sometimes you got to listen to mama when she tell you to do things, you got to do it. And, then, and it worked out, you benefit from it, and then now you signed with one of the legends in boxing, Real Deal Evander Holyfield. But just, what, what's it like being under that tutelage? It's amazing, man, uh, to have someone like this near you at all times, you're able to talk to and it's accessible, and it's also willing to share knowledge. I mean, you could be signing someone that could be the kind of a, you know, a greedy person that doesn't want to see you do better than them, but he's always trying to you know, tell you the shortcuts and, and, and uh, what, like, at any moment in time, you can just ask him anything. He's very open you know, and transparent, and it's just amazing, man, for him to uh, you know, have seen me at the Golden Gloves and ask for me personally. You know, it's no greater honor. Now we're here. We're at, we're at uh, Jim X right now. This is now, you look like you had a little bit of Floyd Mayweather stamina in that ring, going up against competitor after competitor. What's the training regimen like right now? Uh, me, man, I like to come to the gym. You know, do 14 rounds in the bag. Um, do pad work for about five rounds straight. And um, on days I'm sparring, you know, we like to do no less than eight. You know, uh, especially leading up to the fight. I did 12 or uh, two uh, the day before. So I was feeling that a little bit uh, with four different guys. But today, you know, we just did eight today. But it was good rounds with, you know, good top guys that they're, you know, hungry and they have no respect for me. So it's just, it's just great work. Now I heard one of the trainers shouted it out that he had the fight coming up. You, 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 you know, you, did, you, you took one, you took a shot in there. You, get, you got yours too. Right. But uh, you do have a fight that's coming up. Tell right. us about the fight. Uh, it's going to be on March 10th in King's Theater. You know, you guys can, you know, DM me for tickets um, at BK Torch. It's going to be an amazing show. You know, I'm, I'm always I'm starting to say that, you know, I'm the best show in New York. So come see me. Uh, it will not be, it'll be definitely worth your money and it'll be action packed. And at all times in the fight, I'm looking to end it by knockout. I mean, that's what more can you ask for? We need a knockout fighter. Brooklyn need to come back right now. I mean, we had a lot of greats in Brooklyn. Mike Tyson, uh, Zab Judah out of, out of Brooklyn, uh, Dave Jacobs. So I think we need the, the, the BK torch. You got to carry the torch. And uh, and we got to get you back in the, in the studio, too. We need you to, for the whole hour, man. What's up? When are you going to get back with us? Oh, uh, man, anytime y'all need, man. Directly after this fight, you know, i definitely come and give you guys the um, interview. You know, you guys are the first ones to pick me up and give me an opportunity you know, a platform to express myself and to, you know, be uh, seen by the fans. So definitely, you guys will always get an interview anytime. That's what we do, and we definitely going to pull up to the fight and support because I have actually been to, to the fight in person. I've seen you go to work. So we're going to come out and support Real Fans, Real Talk, Justin Biggs, BK Torch. We up out of here, man. Face Facts, what up, what up? Real Fans, Real Talk .com. Well, Arthur Diamonds tripped young and intern Tom for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If